before we get into today's video i'll just ask you guys if you like and subscribe we're trying to get to 700 subs thank you guys we're back for another five nights tower defense video and today i'm going to be trying to beat fnaf 4 of only starter units so here the rule the rules are basically if you cost anything over 600 for me so we got tarnished we got commando endo we got patriot we got pirate with foxy and we got freddles um so let's see basically if these guys can beat fnaf 4 on their own I'm only going to be doing this on easy because even like meta relevant team struggles beat up nightmare hard and stuff. So let's see how we do. So starting off the run at FNAF 4 1, I knew immediately going into this challenge that Tarnished Spring Bonnie is probably going to be the only reason we can beat this. Um, now for most of this run, obviously you can see down below that we've got fairly optimal builds for everything. Like we've got, like again, obviously the most optimal builds just Vengeance and everything, but we've got like Shadow, Puppet's Nightmare, Shadow, Puppet's Nightmare. Freddles, it doesn't matter because they literally, their performance is the same if they're normal. Uh, even if you have a shiny Vengeance one, it will perform the exact same way a regular Freddles does, so that doesn't matter. Uh, Flat 4 one was very clean, we didn't even take any damage. Tarnish Spring Bonnie is just way too good for this. Um, their amount of DPS along with everything else kind of support saying like the Freddles and the Commando Endos uh, make this a very clean easy win. Now going into FNAF 4 2 I think it was a fairly similar story. These maps um, at the start of FNAF 4 relatively long. Um, they're very straightforward. We did take our first bit of damage there and that's because I kind of just forgot that you know Tire Spring Body was the one doing damage here not anything else so I was kind of prioritizing placing other units instead of just upgrading uh, Tarnished and that's a misplay that I'll never do ever again in this ch uh, challenge. Tarnished is literally the only, I'll keep saying this for every every stage basically, Tarnished is the only reason this would be possible and that's just because he's doing probably like 10 times the damage every other unit this team is doing. Uh, maybe maybe not much, maybe, maybe not that much, maybe like 6, like maybe 7 to 8 times damage that every other unit is doing uh, with the range as well on the cooldown. Uh, the boss is pretty easy here. Uh, we do start having to um, change Tarnish's position, but other than that, we're fine. Now, before I started this challenge, FNAF 4 3 was the one that I was probably one of the most nervous about. Um, and we take damage here. It's just the format of this map is just really bad for us. Um, yeah, it, it's also just the amount of enemies that they start to spam in FNAF 4. Um, obviously, all of our units are single target. The support, like the, uh, the Commando Endo and Freddles can help out with just sending units to just kind of face plant or Commando Endo to... We see Commando Endo for Alice better footage, she does some weird stuff during this run. Um, the minions work weird. Uh, but it's like us not having um, AoE or anything really hurts. And as you saw there, we actually nearly died to a bunch of enemies, so yeah. Alright, so going into the FNAF 4 for... Um, it's kind of a similar story each time. It's that these enemies are starting to get bulkier. They start to add more, um, I think like Cursed Freddy starts to appear in this one or it might be the next one. And they just start having a lot more health. Um, and along with this is like the enemy spam itself. Um, when we can't do more than single target and we are literally just relying on Tarnish the entire time, he can't do AOE, he can't do splash. So if there's like 50 enemies stacks you know next to each other it just because like that right there as you see we nearly like we're gonna die if they keep getting tankier or if they keep adding to that because Tarnish is the only one who can handle it now four or five is where this effect really starts coming into play um the amount of damage like the amount of health these guys are starting to have the weird placement i'm having to start to do with some of the units just because of the shape of the map along with the having two exits the amount of uh, guarding that we can do is quite limited because again, Tarnish is the only one who can handle all the health. Um, interestingly, this map, Freddles seem to get stuck under the staircase and like 20 of them spawned on the map even though they really should only be free uh, from what I've seen. So that's um, that was interesting to see. It really started to actually lag the game so the enemies went a lot slower and then suddenly everything just started to speed up. We got very close to dying here, but unfortunately, poor Fredbear couldn't get his uh, his fat juicy ass up the stairs, so rip. And unfortunately, this is where our DPS just kind of catches up with us, with only having one unit that can actually handle these things. 
Uh, this is where it all starts to catch up to us, especially with the two X's right on the sides of each other. It basically makes it so Tarnish can't reach all the way. Uh, and he's also just not doing enough damage to carry the entire team anymore, considering this stage is literally built for late game units who are doing like thousands of DPS. So yeah, we're going to have to re uh, review the team. So as I'm sitting here looking at my inventory, I kind of come upon one choice and it kind of stretches our definition of a starter, but it's Endo 01 to support. Um, we need Tarnish to do more damage basically and he's the only one who can do it. So going into FNAF 4 6, I'm actually now slowly getting more and more convinced that this isn't going to be possible. Endo 01 can give a 55% damage support and we are technically missing out on a 5% damage support if we have the Shiny Spring Bonnie, but I don't. Uh, he's also even more expensive than Endo 1, so you're even more stretching what a starter is in this game. I kind of considering originally 600 or less to be a starter, so I've kind of like, I've already kind of passed the gone, okay, like you can't beat this as starters, it's just not possible. Um, Endo 1 definitely does help us out, but the problem is with Endo 1 is, well, it's, it's not with Endo 1, it's with Tarnish, who just doesn't have the range and doesn't have AoE, uh, so we have to go back to the drawing board. Unfortunately, what happened last time, I'm just thinking, okay, look, we need we need more support. These units are just not doing enough damage. I was thinking about adding Endo to at some point, but that guy is just doing basically a little bit more than Pirate with a Foxy, and he's just not going to... We need, like, hundreds more DPS, like, even a thousand more DPS probably at this point. So even if I had Shiny Endo too, it just wouldn't help us enough. So I'm going with uh, Fredbear here with a range buff. Um, I'm thinking that if Tarnish can reach all the way, maybe you can kill some of the blue boys that are currently killing us, but I doubt it. Now, unfortunately, with FNAF 4 6, I'm not going to leave anything up to anticipation here. We place the Tarnish down. Um, they have very good DPS. They have very good range now. The Fredbear and the um, Endo support damage, like, kind of like they clash for each other, which is great. I mean, so. The Fredbears are giving the other Fredbears more range, and the Fredbears are giving the support more range, and it's just a huge amount of support. Tarnish couldn't be in a better situation. And we do get further. Uh, we get to wave 9 here, but it's, we just do not have the damage to kill the balloon boys. We don't have AoE. Well, alright, guys. Um, actually, honestly, the starter team did a lot better than I thought they did. We didn't even have to start cheating with supports up until like the last stage. Unfortunately, the last stage in the minute is just completely impossible to do a starters only. Um, even if you had shiny vengeance on everything, um, you just don't have the DPS. Uh, even if you replace Freddles with like Endo 2, because Endo 2, Endo 2, like uh, the Freddles don't get buffed, like they don't, they don't get impacted by being shiny, they don't get impacted by the trait, and they don't get impacted by support either. Um, so even if you replaced it with shiny Endo 2 vengeance and you had a uh, vengeance tarnished the only member of your team who's actually doing damn enough damage throughout the entire stage basically is tarnished um so we basically to be able to do this we basically need another tarnished level of power unit um if they're doing about the same dps as tarnished it probably becomes possible but anyway hope you guys enjoyed that i'll see you guys in the next one like and subscribe Bye. -bye.